So here's my winter project. I don't normally do uh, winter projects, but this winter has been actually quite warm here in Alberta. Um, so uh, the Hummer was my uh, summer project, summer and the middle of summer to fall. So you can see that in my older videos. Uh, probably one of the first videos I've ever uploaded was a Hummer. So here I'm turning this four-stroke gasoline engine to uh sorry, my camera thing right here. Okay, to run off of steam uh, and also air. So I had it all take apart. I'm currently working on the shaft, uh, getting just a uh, JB weld uh, stuff on. Uh, be on my later videos. Uh, um, I'm not gonna call it parts or uh, might call it parts or updates, I'm not quite sure. This would be the winter project intro, as you see the title. So this is the exhaust one. As you see, um, the bolts uh, got stripped when I impact wrenched it out. Get one of the bolts here. Here's my mechanic light. So as you see, they just got shot out. It just broke. So, this is garbage. These are just some parts I was keeping. So I might use this. Not quite sure. I can. That might be half inch. Put some JB weld and some copper tubing. Uh, I've been using quarter inch copper piping as my original one because that's when it came with this compressor tank. So let's give a quick look at this compressor tank. I have it fired up many times before. It's just to keep uh, my pressure tank from melting because this is uh, plastic around it. This starts at 40. And this is a 125 PSI tank. This little plastic piece here, I gotta take off. Uh, I gotta put more JB weld in there. But yeah, this is the air compressor. I believe it's called a nipple or something. But that's just to put air in it to do whatever. Um, I do have this uh, PSI gauge, goes up by 20. That just screws in there. Just put that on. And I do have this. Um, just the on off valve, this is just another thing I had to plug. Pop valve. Uh, yeah, so this is quarter inch as well. I, I don't know all the dimensions, I'm just guessing by that. So, go over here, and I'm currently making my uh, fire pit out of tin can. Yeah, original. Not that good, uh, I'm planning to get a better fire pit. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I had it fired up many, many times. Set down. Got all dirty again. So, this engine would never run. My dad couldn't get to run. I'm not even going to bother. So, I had it all taken apart, all lubricated, lubricated it, back it all up. And so, it never actually uh, ran fully, kept making some weird sounds. Took the piston out, uh, oiled all of it up again. Uh, so it runs pretty good, so you can spin it quite well. So this is the gear right here, pops on, as you see in um, the second video I'll be uploading is the gears. I am, have done them already, I've done the first one. Uh, I forgot to make the video describing the first part, so this is it right now. Um, yeah, so that's pretty, oh, camera's done, stuck in my clamp. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this part. Uh, so I have the intake one all uh, bound up, all lined up. This one, I'm making the mold for it right now. The part, second part of me doing that, we'll be showing you. I'm not sure if I should get another PSI gauge and put it right here. I believe I'll just keep the spark plug. I'll like, cut that off. I'm not sure what I'll do with that. Put that there. Here's the, this part. I did not see that plastic part there. Oh well. I don't even know what that does. I don't even know what this does. To be honest with you. Yeah, oh well. Looks like some sort of clamp. Ah. Never actually looked at it. So yeah, so here's this 
cover for this, so there's oil in here, so I'm gonna have to put some JB weld in there. I'll do that right now. So that will be on there nice and tight. So I got the JB weld in there as part of my compressor tank, and yeah, this did wrap up the first uh, video. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and have a great day.